Hello motivators, welcome back again. And I'm Ariel, if you're new and behind the camera and whoever does the little magic of these little vids is my sister Adley and we run a beauty news. So it's only natural that we come on here and have this vid where we talk about new makeup releases, the mainstream ones and these indie brands that are like, to me, are killing it more than these bigger brands. So we're gonna talk about what's new and all this can be found on our instagram if you want to follow us more and um, interact with us we'll have everything down below and let's get started so if i'm looking over here it's because i'm looking at my phone of all the posts we have of all this crazy good makeup some not so good some like eh. inspiration for this vid it comes from a lot of people so let me shout out a few samantha march was a creator of the Will I Buy It series. And then I love to watch Katie Marie, Nikki Raven, Britt Clark, and Skeleton. I love just watching all these other people react or look at new makeup and see their opinions because not everybody looks at makeup the way you look at makeup. So that's interesting. So hello all of those people that I watch and probably don't know who I am, but hello. So the first thing we're gonna look at is man ColourPop comes out with so many releases ColourPop is coming out with a new uh i guess a yoda palette but it's the mandalorian collection and they're re-promoting the child palette they had so let's see i'm looking at the prices here so the child palette 16 dollars. the mandalorian palette 16 dollars. they have a lip oil duo 18 a mirror 12 a bag 15 the full collection 75 dollars and then a palette set for 32. So if you look at that, it's like, wow, these prices are pretty low, pretty good. But it's like looking at the actual palette, it's not that interesting to me. Maybe the clan of two color, like that looks pretty. But I have the other palette, which is really nice in person and it I created a really pretty look with that one. I think from this collection, I would only get the mirror just to have a Yoda mirror. Like how adorable does he look? But everything else, not really interested. So if you're interested, you can pick up stuff. Again, these are just my opinions. If you're interested in it, go ahead. I mean, this is, Kellerprop's pretty cheap. Like, that's a one, one of the brands that is really cheap that like, ugh, they keep dropping, dropping stuff, but it's like so cheap. It's like, it makes you wanna buy it, right? Or is that just me? Okay, so the next post, oh, is gonna be a Milan Row Makeup collab with Doodles by the Bunny. Now, Doodles by the Bunny is an Instagram account. Um, this person, I think, just draws up mock-up palettes and has really cool um, artistic, uh, has a really cool artistic way of drawing up the palette, drawing up a whole theme and the shade, putting the shades in there, and i mean you're like man i wish you could make the palettes and so they're collaborating with milan row makeup and it launches november 12th it's 39 usd dollars you can use a discount code for poison and it's poison ivy one glitter shadow mattes and metallics oh, i don't know about the glitter shadow but i can live with it if this palette like is gorgeous and I think it is gorgeous. I love greens. I think I would definitely pick this up because it looks so interesting. I feel like the I feel like the art on the palette could have been like a little bit more. You know what I mean? Like a little bit. But overall, aesthetically, it looks pretty good. The shades look interesting the way they laid it out and the shades don't look like they're repeating, which I like. You know how they have like a soft brown and then they have like literally the next color is like a brown that looks almost like it and it looks the same on your eye. Well, like, yeah, I like the I like that they're collaborating with this uh, artist. Let me look at their account. Okay, look at that. It's just mock-up palettes. I love when they do mock-up palettes and things that like brands should be like looking at is this account and how they put color stories together. Next thing is, oh, reveal from Rem Beauty, so Ariana Grande's brand. 
and I'm looking at all these prices. It looks fairly like good. It's available November 12th. There's lipsticks, stain markers, glosses, eyeshadow, eyeliners, mascara, and palettes and lashes. And I think the highest price I see is $24. And the lowest would be $15. Now, to be honest, just looking at this, I'm like not interested in buying Ariana Grande's makeup. Like, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look... It doesn't look too appealing to me. I think the only thing I would be interested in getting, and I wish I had my sister here, but the only thing that I would be interested in buying would be like maybe a unique lippy shade and maybe something in the future because right now I'm just like, I'm not too interested in her brand right now, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy something maybe in the future, but I do like the overall like she does like chapters and i forgot how she organizes it but i oh yeah it says like chapter one and part one i think that's interesting so um we'll see in the future what i get but for me right now it's gonna be a like bye see you later i'll come back to you maybe some other time the next thing that we're gonna look at is be perfect cosmetics new manifest aspire palette now the prices are on our Instagram because I don't know what they are. Like, I think this is pounds and stuff like that. <laughs> and, I mean, it's um, it's going to be a pass for me. Like, by, like, I don't, I haven't bought from Be Perfect Cosmetics. But the palette right now looks like it's a combination of eyeshadow and a face palette. And sometimes I kind of like those if they have, like, blushes and stuff like that. But like contour shades or bronzers, like you would need multiple to cater to different skin tones. And to me, I'm just like, eh. oh yeah, it says three multi-use face powders. So it's also like, you can probably use it as eyeshadow, but still, I think it's just a plain palette to me. And I think I have stuff like that in my collection right now. So it's going to be a bye. See you later from me. <laughs> and... Ooh, the next thing is that, oh my god, I've been wanting to get something from Glaminature's Cosmetics. And it's like, I can never bring myself to purchase anything because of how expensive it is in US dollars, okay? Because I wanted this. It's their, I think their holiday palette. So it's up, I believe, for pre-order, if not... You missed it, but it was so expensive. I think it was almost when I tried to put it in my car and it converted it to US dollars. It was like, oh my God, I think because this is an APAM palette, I think it was like $80. I'm not sure, but I just couldn't bring myself to get it. And even though it's so amazing, like if you look at these swatches, oh, notification. Okay, if you look at these swatches, like, and the shimmers, and I've heard nothing but good things. Look at that it's so beautiful and it has four mattes three shimmers and one extreme multi-chrome shimmer i'm like for the love of god where's my sister like to tell me do not be tempted again to get this you gotta pay your bills <laughs> it's so gorgeous like dominatrix cosmetics again this is another brand that I'll just like them picking out color stories and the way they present it is like so intriguing to your eye and you want to buy it so bad. Like they're doing, y'all doing it right. Y'all are doing it right. So the next thing we have is from Makeup Maniacs Cosmetics. It's their new Holiday Bliss eyeshadow palette. It has six shades with three mattes, three shimmers for $16. Wow, that's a good price. And let's take a look at it. Okay, that's a cute little mini Christmas palette. Hmm, I feel like I want to get this. I, this is going to be like a buy. It's going to be a purchase. I feel like maybe a little bit later, like not right now. But this is definitely like it's the right size. I do like mini palettes. I feel like you don't get so jumbled up on what to do. Like, boom. They're just small things to choose from. Because me, if you give me options, I'm just like... 
you get overwhelmed with a bunch of options. But it looks it looks nice. The packaging, um, the shades they picked. All right. Okay, makeup maniacs. And I think I have I think I had a palette from them. So, and I have I think there is reviews on here. There's they have good quality. So if this would be your first purchase, I mean, sixteen dollars for this little palette is not bad. Okay. So it definitely would be a buy for me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alien Cosmetics, I swear, is a cosmetics brand that I have to purchase their stuff. Like, oh. And we have a code with them if you want to use it. It's code Earth. Um, if you want to purchase that. Like, we don't get a, a lot of PR. I think we've gotten two PRs from them, but the rest of the stuff we purchased by ourselves because the quality and the aesthetic and the time and effort they put to this these collections, it's like, man, it's like, wow, you're doing good things, Alien Cosmetics. Like, I'm already intrigued because this is an, like the package, this is just a sneak peek of an upcoming, I think, it looks like lippies here and maybe a palette. I'm into plaid. I'm into plaid and already I know I'm going to get this. I wish I could get every single palette from them and every single item from them if I had all the money in the world. But definitely this is a brand to look at and they're going to do, um, they're going to do a uh, name changing. So we'll update on you. We'll update you on that. They're going to switch names. Um, and I'm excited to see what the future holds because I feel like they just We've been watching them for a long time and they just keep getting better and better. And I love watching little indie brands like this grow and grow. And the next thing we're gonna talk about, I'm sorry, I really want their items. We have lippies from Cheekbone Beauty, but like looking at this, I really, I'm into blush and oh, I really want that blush and bronzer duo. And this is a new bundle from Cheekbone Beauty celebrating Native American Heritage Month. And they're partnering with, I think it's B Yellow Tell to bring you this thoughtful curated beauty capsule. 131 USD dollars. Okay, this bundle. Shoot, if I had the money, I would definitely get this. I love the aesthetic of it. I love the brand. They're um, clean, vegan, and sustainable beauty. And I love the, I mean, their products are amazing. Their lippies we had, amazing. So I can't wait to try their, wow. I can't wait to try the blush and the bronzer. So this would be a buy from me. Oh my God. Another brand that gets me with their packaging and the way they promote it. Oh my gosh. Um, this is Mel Cosmetics. And we had bought their uh, Mor Eterno collection from I think last year no the year before that so like two years ago and oh my god they came out with this the Amor y Mariposas collection and so it's inspired by the comforting memories that find you after grieving a loved one lost reminding you of the vibrancy of life oh my gosh like let me zoom oh my gosh the art the aesthetic of their collections and the amount of effort they put into it like that's how they get me like but then i saw the price and i'm like oh my freaking oh my word oh my word the amor y mariposas collection is 450 dollars, but in early access it was 425 now i think later on oh right here we have purchased individually november 23rd so i think i would want to try they have a pigment paint and liners. I love, I want to try that gold. They have new brushes. We did get brushes from their last collection and great quality, like amazing quality. I think brushes would be interesting, but I would want to try. Not their lippies, not their bullet lipsticks, but I think I want to try those gel liners and like that paint. Um. I mean, I wish, I wish I could buy the whole collection, but again, this is a beautiful collection. Good job, Mel Cosmetics. But the price is not affordable for, to me right now. Okay, and next we're gonna talk about Lunar Beauty. 
and um, hmm, it's the holiday 2021. Full collection's $150. Outer Dimension Face Palette, $49. Lippies Bundle, $55. Brush Bundle, $65. Okay, so, okay, there's one, two, three, four lippies, four, eight brushes, and this face palette. This is gonna be like a buy from me because I would wish like when they have different shades of like face powders, I wish it was separately because it's like <sighs> my skin tone and I'm pretty sure it's for other people is like what are we gonna use all those shades for like some sometimes it could be a waste and I don't want to put stuff in my collection I'm not really gonna use everything because I'm really trying to use up most of the makeup but I mean I think the packaging is beautiful I see this brush is oh is that dual ended brush the packaging, the brushes, the overall aesthetic, I love. So, good job on that. The lippies look beautiful. I think I would pick up a lippy, but like, I don't know. Not right now. I just, I'm not intrigued right now on getting things. But I do like the aesthetic. I just wish that that face palette, if I wanted to try something, I would probably try the blushes. And I wish they were like singles or duos or something like that. But right now, that holiday collection, it's a buy for me. I will not be purchasing that even if I had the moolah right now I don't think I would purchase that because I feel like I would waste um, the product like I think I could only like one or two shades from here for bronzing and I really don't use brightening powders so all right let's move on so an update Jacqueline Roxanne Okay, so Jaclyn Hill has now a, I guess, jewelry line, right? A jewelry line um, called Jaclyn Roxanne. And they had launched and they had issues and they were getting um, cy uh, cyber attacks. So I remember looking and I wanted to get something from them or I just wanted to look to see about the prices and the pictures they had up on their website. I can't remember. Hmm. No, I think I was just going to look because I was like, oh, I can't buy this stuff, but it's okay to look. <laughs> and um, the site was completely down for hours, but sometimes when I would push refresh, it would show up. And I think a lot of people wanted to buy it and all this happened, and then they got cyber attacked. So that was disappointing, but I mean, it, it wasn't the brand's fault. So we have the prices all on here, I think. The lowest price is $30 and the highest would be $165 and I feel like overall if you look at these man if you look at the earrings if you look at the necklaces they're very beautiful I think it was a good I feel like Jaclyn Hill really knows how to sell products and knows how to catch people's eyes because even with her pictures her launch i think it really drew me in like i think it's very beautiful collection now it's not in my price range to buy this collection i believe they're like rhodium and gold plated so if you're interested in that you can buy that but it's going to be a buy from me right now the next would be the new palette from loca lashes and a collaboration with danny sauce it says por vida y mas so nine beautiful shades for your everyday glam and even loca glam <laughs> available November 12th. Oh, wow. I don't know who Dan. Let me see. That is so cool. I mean, the art alone is draw it is drawing. I'm a sucker for art and the colors inside are beautiful, but it looks like, hmm, I just feel like it has a lot of brown. These two oranges kind of look the same to me, but. I do like the art and I don't necessarily like the color story. So it's going to be like a buy from me, a buy from me, but beautiful. I think they're coming together on collections. I am eyeballing Loca lashes. I have not purchased from them yet, but they are intriguing me. I think they're stepping up their game a whole lot. Okay. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the new magic lamp palette from Clarity Cosmetics and 
it just showed a sneak peek so we don't know the date yet we will update you on our instagram so this palette has 12 shades consisting of four mattes two shimmer three multi-chromes one duo chrome and two foiled shadows it also comes with a double-ended eyeshadow brush for packing and blending okay i don't know the price yet i have had their i forgot what it's called we have got their pastel palette i really liked their shimmer stuff they did come broken but they did replace them so i wasn't really complaining about that because overall the palette the shadows worked really good on the eyes and this i'm gonna say right now i feel like buying it looks beautiful the shades they're picking or from what i see uh, now we just gotta wait on the shadows and all the other information but this would be a buy for me i think it looks beautiful next thing is new limited edition wishful holiday 2021 kits mini skin wishes 89 dollars Hydrate and Glow Trio, $45. Okay, so skincare. Oh, let me just say, this packaging, I love the colors. It's intriguing. It looks good. I mean, I never tried anything from them. The reviews, I mean, they make me want to buy. The reviews are good on these. But do I want skincare? I just have, I'm trying to finish my skincare. So maybe in the future I would buy this. But for now, it's going to be like a buy. It's gonna be a buy for me because I'm trying to finish the skincare I just purchased. I'm using um, an indie brand to Kinship, uh, Pixie Glow things I have. I even have stuff from, from Mary Kay. Don't sleep on them, they have some good skincare. So I'm trying to use all that up to try out some new skincare. The next thing we're gonna look at is NYX Cosmetics and collaboration with Money Heist. And I think that's a show on Netflix, right? Okay, I haven't watched it obviously after just saying that. So it's already available. It'll explain to me. It's gonna be a straight out the gate. I will not be purchasing anything from that collection. Um, I haven't watched the show. I heard it was really good. I, that would be probably on my next list of shows. I have all these shows I need to watch. But it's gonna be a no. The next thing we're gonna talk about is La Russe Beauty in collaboration with Janice Dowd. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And it's a brush set for $100. 11-piece set designed and developed by celebrity makeup artist Janice Dewan for both a professional and personal approach to her makeup artistry. Okay, they have a sculpt contour brush, cream blending brush, powder brush, concealer brush, lip brush, precision eye brush, detailed eye brush, precision contour brush, shadow brush, cream liner brush, brow brush, microfiber towel, and pouch. I guess that comes with it. It's $100. Not bad from the brush sets i have been seeing so it's not bad they look interesting i mean i haven't used these shapes of brushes like on my face or anything so i feel like these would be new brushes but would i buy this brush set now i feel like i'm fine right now i just had purchased the laura lee los angeles brushes and they're working beautifully for me i have the alien cosmetics brushes i have brushes from um old what i got from ulta which I'm okay with right now. I feel like I have a bunch of brushes. So I won't be buying that because I feel like I need to use my brushes I currently have. The next thing we're going to talk about is a brand called Gilded Bar. And it's a luxury small batch skincare line. $12 each. Moisturizing. Cocoa Glow. Fresh Tea. Baked Oats. Pumpkin Butter. Café con Leche. Classic free packaging. Okay, cool. About the brand. Gilded Bar is a luxury artisanal soap and skincare brand made in small batches to deliver big benefits. We offer an amazing variety of soap bars that will transform your self-care routine. Latina owned, queer owned, and we just launched. Wow, I do like the look of these Gilded Bars. And they're $12.50 each. And we have all the information on our Instagram post. I think the look of it and... I like the fact that they're plastic free and they have good skincare benefits. I see their list of like the things that they're putting into them and they're handmade. So I think that's really cool. I love when things have like effort and like made with your hands, handcrafted, everything. I love that stuff. So that would be a buy for me. Next thing is Gasa Gaga Italian Glam Collection from House Labs. I have 
haven't really been interested in anything that House Labs has been putting out because I feel like the brand doesn't match Lady Gaga, like her aesthetic. I thought that when she launched her brand that it would match her, but I feel like it's kind of disconnected from her. Now, look at this collection. It's beautiful. I still feel like it doesn't really go with her, but it looks luxurious. And I think that's the first intriguing like thing from the brand that has caught my eye are these products. And there's a lip glaze, a cream mini lipstick set, gel powder, liquid eyeliner, highlighter, highlighter brush, a case. I mean, I wouldn't, it's gonna be buy for me. I wouldn't buy anything from this collection. I just like the look of it. I feel like finally they're having something intriguing that I think people will like stop and look like, oh, where's that from? But it still doesn't give me like her vibe. So new from Atomic Makeup. Oh, it's coming on Black Friday. Gimme Glimmer 2.0. It's an eyeshadow, it's an eyeliner, it's a lip topper, maybe even a highlight. This multitasking beauty is back this Friday. Does this Friday? Oh, we'll be back this Black Friday. <laughs> I was like, this Friday? Okay, Black Friday. Okay. You know this, I think somebody commented, it looks like, whatever is in the collection for the Mel Cosmetics. I feel like this would be a good comparison, like maybe it's a dupe. I wonder how much this is because uh, that looks good for like, to put on my eyes and put a liner. So like that would be a buy for me. It looks like really pretty gold. Ooh, it looks like I wanna get it. <laughs> and the next thing we're gonna talk about is, oh gosh. The Fall Magic Palette from Alien Cosmetics. I swear, I love Alien Cosmetics. This palette and the color scheme, so gorgeous. Like, I wish I could get everything, but I can't. It's $48, a 12 pound palette, seven mattes, five shimmers. And I think it just, it screams fall to me. It looks beautiful, the shimmers look beautiful. I'm looking at the swatches we have. And that looks, that looks so good. Oh, I wish I could get that, but it's so beautiful. I'm telling you, I think Cosmetics is killing it with their color schemes, their packaging. Oh, I'm all here for it. Even if they change their name, I'm still gonna freaking buy from them because just their quality and the way they have their good customer service, it just keeps me going and going. So. That would be a buy for me. That would be a buy for me. I don't think, this is not available. I think the pre-order had already sold out. So maybe they might have another pre-order, I'm not sure. If not, it's a loss that I'm gonna have to take. I have to wait for the next product. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is Rosenben Beauty. And this is Rosenben on Instagram. Wow, she does amazing videos of like just doing her makeup and overall comparing and giving you tips on how to put on your makeup. And she came out with brushes and they're, there's not a set, they're all sold separately. So there's a bronzer brush for $30, shading and blending brush for $25, uh, blush brush $35, blending crease brush for $25, concealer foundation brush $26, inner corner highlight brush $22, concealer brush $22, pointy liner brush $20. I feel like I'm kind of underwhelmed. I do like that she's coming out with her stuff. I think the only thing I would be interested in is that crazy fan angled the bronzer brush. I think that's the only thing I'd be interested in. But overall, I kind of was a little underwhelmed. I think I was wishing it was more products than brushes. But I do like that shape of that one br the bronzer brush. And I do like her. I think I will be interested in other things that she'll put out there but this collection right now is going to be a buy like see you later for now i'll come back maybe when there's other things and they're so sweet i love them. i'm very happy like that people are like coming out with things that people that i want to see come out with things they're coming out with things and i'm here for it but i'm just not interested in that stuff so the next thing is from glam shop this I have no idea where they came from, but this palette looks pretty intriguing. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like artistic, a little mellow. I do like the shades. I feel like they're a little bit muted. I think it reminds me of 
the shades and colors that come from like Huda Beauty palettes. I'm not sure, but I'm kind of interested in this brand, just the overall look. The pricing, the full collection is $41. The palette's $32 and an eye pencil is $4.75. Okay, but now that I keep looking at it, I feel like I have stopped being interested. <laughs> So it's gonna be a buy from me. I think I have an eye on them and I'll see what else they come out with, but it's a buy. Like, buy. Okay, so I see Wifey, am I, I'm like, am I saying this right? I see Wifey Cosmetics has the Mistress Eyeshadow Palette for $36. Oh wow. I think the swatches on the darker skin tone are really popping out and calling my name this would be a buy i think the price is pretty good i think it has 4 8 12 16 20 20 eyeshadows for 36 dollars okay i haven't tried this so i would definitely get this and test it out that looks really nice I, again the art is getting me the swatches are really good the picture quality is good, so, hmm. All right, so new from Nabla Cosmetics. They have a freckle maker, and I believe like duos. It's called Two Reasons, a multi-talented duo that has two different textures, a cream color and a glass, it says glassy balm, and then the freckle maker. So a gloss and a cream. I like the promo. I think I'm interested in the freckle maker more than, I, than more than I am from the two reasons duo. I just I don't know. I like the packaging though. I don't think I'm interested in getting that except the freckle thing. So next, next thing is half caked makeup, and they have four new candy paint cheek and lip shades, and that's up on their website. Vegan, cruelty free, clean formula. I don't know why they would have a, like the white to mix and make stuff lighter. Um, I mean, I do like for like blushes, but I feel like these shades aren't really interesting to me. I'm glad they launched four new shades, but it's going to be a buy. Like, see you later. I'll see what else I can get. Maybe I really want to try their powdered blush. So we'll see in the future. Okay, Clarity Cosmetics has duochrome lip toppers, lip tints, and opaque glosses, and that's coming soon, and I'm like, oh, I'm interested in like, what is it? Pudding Pop, Root Beer Float, Bad Timing, Damsel, and it's me for me. That, that right there, those, all those that I named, that's what's drawing me in. I think I would love to try their the lippies. Next thing that already dropped from Ace, uh, Bute, I believe, and it's $38.99. 15 amazing pigments and shades that can be used in a variety of looks. Okay, boom. That whole color scheme right there, I don't know what it is. I think it might be the yellows. It's intriguing and I want it. That's a buy, that's a buy. I just, the packaging is good. The layout is amazing. I feel like the shades are unique in the way that they're laid out. I've heard good things about this brand. Next, uh, Desi Skin, a mask that you put overnight. It'll smooth and tighten your skin while you sleep. I think I'm very interested in Desi Perkins. Is her shades collection? I really want some shades from her. Like I'm literally saving up to get that. Her skincare. I think I really like this overnight mask. I feel like I would definitely buy this. Um, I'm interested in her whole aesthetic and how sweet she is and how she promotes stuff. I think she's overlooked sometimes. I feel like she has great ideas and she puts them together well. And she's a little indie brand, so I really like what she's putting out. So I think I would get this. Coming soon, Spoiled Lip Cosmetics. Okay. The contour palette, it's coming back. So November 18th. I think I like the aesthetic of this i like the shades in here but again like how many am i really gonna use i feel like i want to get this right now because i'm still trying to finish all my bronzers and everything like that but if i really wanted to get something if i run out i would get this 
just because I do like this brand. Okay, so that'd be a buy from me maybe later on. Okay, so the new Give Me Glow, new new meet season one of the Bad Witch Club palette. Okay, 12 pan palette. Okay, so it's season one, so I'm guessing that there's gonna be other seasons. Now, or, oh my gosh, the I like the packaging and it's matching the colors inside. It looks very beautiful. I think Give Me Glow is just coming out. They always come out with these intriguing color schemes palettes. They have their big pan palette um, of their those pastels they had. Beautiful. I, it was worth the buy. I feel like I would get this. So this would be a buy for me. I feel like their formula is amazing. The mattes and the shimmers. Packaging is amazing. The whole color scheme that they put up with. Amazing. So I can't wait to see the other seasons. And then Dandelion Cosmetics. New shades. An upcoming winter palette. So here's like the shades are. Wow. I do like this whole gray tone. Bluish gray tone. I think that's pretty. I think I want to get a palette from them. I want to try this brand out. I've been seeing that they've been growing. And I feel like they're growing and becoming and blossoming to something so good. So I really want to try their singles and other shades from them. Next is Glam Gold Boutique. They have a Christmas Town eyeshadow palette for $26 USD. Okay, this is a pre-order. 12 shades of shimmer, mattes, and two press glitters. Okay, I think this looks nice. I kind of like it, but I'm still like, meh about it. And especially when they mention two glitters, I'm just like, it kind of puts like a bad taste in my mouth. Uh, so this is a no from me. Okay, motivators. That was all of the new makeup releases that we're talking about. If you want to see more, go to our Instagram. We have a bunch of other, there's like so much new makeup and makeup that keeps popping up here and there and new brands that you probably never heard of. So if you want to see all that and look up more stuff, just go to our Instagram. Everything's down below and I'll see you next time for more vids. Okay. We love you. Bye. Bye.